Welcome back to What's the 4 and one I know you guys are fans of the show, so you are very familiar with our beauty correspondent, Courtney Rashawn, yes. who's been giving us lots of advice yes. this past few months. Yes. yes, now she has a new book, Giving Face. Giving face. She's going to be telling us mm -hmm. all about it. Yay, Courtney. Giving face. Face. Thank, you guys. Thank you guys. So I know this is like no ordinary book. Like, what is this book going to give people that you can't get anywhere else? Well, basically, my book is a, an etiquette, a beauty etiquette manual, and it teaches you all about instruction, application, and techniques, how to apply your makeup for the best possible occasion like in your life. So every occasion that you could think of, it'll be something in there to tell you this is how your makeup should look. Like right. wedding makeup? Wedding makeup. Um, a job interview. Job interview. Really? Meeting a guy's parents. Ooh. Even when it's time to get busy. <laughs> really? <laughs> how you should look. Yeah, yeah. The virgin oh. or the vixen. And that's in the chapter that's called Seduce Him. Um, the Clock Strikes oh. 12 is all about um, transitioning your makeup from day to evening and different makeup looks. So there's a little bit of everything in there for yes. everyone. So how, how was the process of you writing this book? Was it laborious? Like, how? what, was, what, did, what did you... I know you like it's blood, sweat, and tears, but <laughs> no, aside like, from oh. that, and, and hosting the show and writing the book. Okay. Well, basically, um, I just thought about all the things that we women want to know and what we experience. You know, when you're going to a job interview, you know, how your makeup should look. When you're going out on a first date, should it be too heavy? Should it be, you know, less? Should it be, you know, when you're meeting a guy's parents or, you know, your partner's parents or whomever, you know, how your makeup should look. Should it be overdone? Should it not be overdone? You know, even mm -hmm. going to a wedding, even with brides, you know. So, like I said, there's, you know, um, makeup applications and makeup looks for every occasion that you can imagine in your life. Yeah. So, you know. Not so and even with the wake up makeup. So wake up makeup is wake actually, up makeup. Yeah, wake up makeup. Wake, wake, up makeup. wake up makeup. Well, wake up yeah. makeup is my signature, my signature uh, makeup application and technique that I do, and basically it gives you like a flushed faced. I just woke up and a rosy kind of look. Do you put it on like right before he wakes up? You can. He would never know. He would never know. He would like wake up minute, Courtney. What'd you say? <laughs> Exactly, but I do get a lot of compliments um, when I have makeup on because people always say, "Oh, your skin looks so flawless, and you don't look like you're wearing anything." And that's all about the wake up makeup tech, tech excuse me, technique. It's just a glowing, dewy, natural. Um, you know, just got off the beach, but not really like I just woke up, fresh face look. Right. Which is really cool. Nice. And you can okay. wear that during the day, even if you're running to the store. Or like you said, you know, you want to slide out the sheets and slide back in. And, you know, you want to look like you just woke up not like you did from the night before. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you what know. about, like, taking care of your skin and stuff, too? Because I think a lot of people, like, neglect yeah. that. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's also in there, there's also a chapter in there um, about skin care mm -hmm. and how to care for your skin. Um, important things like not sleeping in your makeup. And you know, not um, you know, leaving lashes on for too long and things mm -hmm. of that nature. So you know, you have to be careful with makeup because you know our brushes and makeup harvest bacteria, and it can right. clog your skin. And even with the brushes, you know, they tend to collect bacteria, and they can also you know uh, cause breakouts and things right. like Do that. Do you talk so. about switching out the brushes and how long you should keep them? Because I know people, you say throw that mascara away. Yeah. And I'm like and absolutely not like because a I'm year later, seven dollars for it. <laughs> Well, with any makeup, you should, you know, between uh, six to eight months, mm -hmm. well, say, I would say six to 12 months, um, you should discard it if you haven't used it. Uh, mascara, you know, I would definitely change my mascara every three months. Really? Because, only because the Use wands all harbor, <laughs> all harbor bacteria. And that's okay. You know, if you, if you wash your brushes regularly and let them mascara air dry. mascara brush? Well, with your mascara brush, you should wipe it off to get rid of the excess. But mascara, it'll start to get clumpy and it'll start to smell. And it's really good to discard it, you know, right. after, after three to, three to five months, wow. I would say. You I know. smell mine. And you I'm can like, smell it, right? Yeah, you I'm can like, smell really? it. Yeah, yeah. It's like it, has, like it has an expiration date on it. When it starts to smell, it's time to go. Even with the brushes, you know, brushes tend to get, you know, ratty and, you know, raggedy and they tend to get coarse and, you know, they lose their, you know, texture and they don't, you know, they won't, um, the makeup won't be applied properly if your brushes aren't, you know, up to par. So. Right. You have to get rid of those too. But even with the sable hair brushes, you can wash some of those, mm -hmm. and you know, so those have a little bit more longevity as opposed to the synthetic brushes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, right. so what do you have in your book for men? Well, I have a title called Him, and it's all about men's grooming, which is interesting. Um, it's something in there for the for the ladies also, and for the men as well. Um, him is just basically about. Um, 
men and how they should care for themselves. Men's grooming. Meaning, what about those beards? Meaning beards. Like beards all the way exactly. Down here. Beard, manscape. Manscaping. <laughs> yes. Beard care. <laughs> Um, you know, um, getting the wax out of your ears and, you know, not having a unibrow, <laughs> unless that's your signature look, um, you know, plucking the nose hairs, things like that. And it's also um, wow. some things in there um, that men love about women, you know, things that they find attractive and things that we find attractive, things that we like to see a man, you know, in. Or, you give, know, us we like to, give us one. Give us one. I'll give you a few. Uh, we, I think all women universally, universally love a man who has a manicure. Has to have a manicure because his hands are on you. Even if you're holding your hand, you know, the hands are rough. You can come with your nails done. Bring it up. You know what I like? Pedicure, though. And a manicure. Exactly. Those are rough feet. Those are rough feet. Exactly. You in the bed? Exactly. In the bed, your mama is worse. Yeah, you're There's also things in the book um, that I, that my own personal opinion for recommendation, or recommend, you know, products that I recommend. Oh, nice. And also um, things that are tacky. So mm. I do Ooh, have, don't. Some, not in every chapter, but in some chapters, um, at the end of each chapter, I do have some things that are, that would be considered tacky. So and what's tacky? Give us a tacky. Yes, Give us tacky. Give us tacky. Give us one tacky thing. One tacky thing? That you okay. see all the time. <laughs> one tacky thing that I see mm. all the time? Well, eyelashes. Eyelashes that, oh, that no, have no been girl. worn way too long, and it's time for them to go, and they start clumping up on your eyes, and, and you like, can still see the glue separate uh, from uh, from your lid. Oh yeah, God. it's just a mess. So that's definitely something that's tacky. Another thing that would be tacky um, would be if you are with your partner, and you know, unless you're married and it's cool like that, but when you're when you're um, you know going out with someone or you know couple dates or whatever, and you have a sleepover. You know, to take off your add-on or your ponytail or your wig and throw it by the bedside <laughs> or throw it on the floor. You're supposed to sleep in it. <laughs> no, no, take it off. No, no, take it off. But and you know, but don't it. put it somewhere. Put it in your bathroom or store. Just don't leave it by the bedside. Don't leave it by the bedside. Don't don't take your wig off. Who does that? It. And leave it next. You know, take what? your wig off and leave it next what to your coffee. Girls are you dating? I don't what know. Girl? I'm not dating what any girl. What girls are you dating? Well, it's with? true. I I have you know I have brothers and I talk to a lot of guys. I have a lot of male. <laughs> Friends, and these are some of the pet peeves that they have. They don't care, you know, as long as it looks good, fine. But they just don't want to see it. Wake up and they don't like want right to wake up face to face with you the know, and see, you know, your ponytail on the floor. I mean, I've been guilty of it, so you know. <laughs> You're a pass me out here, please. Thanks. In the heat I'm of the just moment. kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, um, you know, just certain things, you know, tampons, you know, things of that nature. You know, tuck it away. Leave, you know, your personal women hygiene. Thing. I, thought that would away. I thought that would be I think I'm your mother tells you that. Tell you let me tell you something. Oh, my but, but some people, <laughs> right, right. I have, I have had guys complain about these issues with women. And there are things that we don't like that that I think, you know, that I feel that are tacky, you know, so that men do. So certain things that we don't want to see. So like, give us a man. Like dirty, sweaty socks and they smell. Or, yeah, you know, or tidy whities that aren't so white. Oh! <laughs> but I don't like tidy whities. But Ray Ray can wear them though. He can't. He too big for that. With dots on them. You he know, too big. Lip balls, he too big for that. Ray Ray can't fit so. in tidy whities. They'll be all hanging down in the front. It's not cute. Mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so Sorry, that we, we, we just went to the I know, they did. They went to the left. But, but get this give but it's, it's, yes. it's a lot of fun. It's humorous. It's funny. Um, and it's for everybody. It's for everyone. It's for men, for women. And it's definitely for makeup artists. And it's also, you know, uh, I had a lot of fun writing it. And, you know, it, you find it humorous. Look at you that. Know? So it's like I'm talking to, like, it's, it's as if I'm having a conversation with my girlfriends or my guy friends. So that's how I actually um, talk to you in the book. Nice. nice. So giving face. Yeah. All right, so Looking Flaws for Every Occasion is available on Amazon.com. So get your copy today. <laughs>